Hi guys, and uh, we are back with another video. As you can see, uh, bagong setup to. Actually, andito ako sa studio. Pero good thing, it's a Sunday as of recording. Pero walang tao rito, which is good. Perfect time for us to uh, have the unboxing. Pinangako ko sa inyo, yung Apex Pro From Steel series. Okay? Before we continue, yung previous video natin, which is the the Aorus uh, GPU it got less than a hundred likes okay so let's see if we can break 200 likes within a day okay so 200 likes within a day let's see kung kaya natin gawin okay so just like what I said before katulad ng sinabi natin dati ito yung pinakabagong uh, keyboard coming from Steel Series June ngayong taon ako at saka yung uh, kaibigan natin from Lupon pumunta kami ng Taiwan for Computex Computex is like uh, ayan, computer expo na talagang yearly ginagawa. Sobrang laki ng event na yun. And uh, we decided na pumunta ron this year. And uh, fortunate naman nung pagpunta namin doon, nandun si Steel Series. And uh, doon ko unang nakita itong Apex Pro na to. Prior to this one, I was using an Apex M750 yata. If I'm not mistaken. Ayun yung keyboard ko dati na TKL. TKL means uh, 10 keyless. Yung sa gilid Yung 10 keyless Yung wala yung numpad Na mga numbers Kasi Mas gusto ko dati Mas compact Mas better Lalo na pagka mag-travel ka Tapos Compact lang yung keyboard Matadala mo siya lagi Diba? Pero When I saw this one uh, Dito ko na-realize na Mas gusto ko Itong keyboard na to Bakit? I-explain natin sa inyo isa-isa yung features na nagustuhan ko dito. Also, I know others are critical. Siguro, dati, 80% sobrang critical sa point na ba't ko kailangan bumili ng mamahali keyboard? Eh, parehas lang naman ang function yan. Siguro, dati, 80%. Pero ngayon, tingin ko, 50-50 na yan. Uh, me, I've used a uh, mechanical keyboard ever since 2015, 2014. Prior to that one, basic keyboard lang yung ginagamit ko. And uh, nung una, hindi yung mindset ko. Ba't ko kailangan bumili ng mahaling keyboard kung kaya naman ng basic na keyboard. Pero when I use my first mechanical keyboard, dun ko na-realize na talagang iba. Diba? Uh, efficiency, I think, ay yung pinaka mapansin ko na kakaiba ng normal na keyboard at sa mechanical na keyboard. Ever since 2015, hindi na ako nag- uh, balik dun sa simple keyboard. So, we'll unbox first itong uh, product and then afterwards, yung features sasabihin mo lang agad sa inyo. Okay? So, sa product itself, uh, pretty straightforward. Yung box, after mo mabuksan, makikita mo rito yung manual coming from uh, Steel Series. And then, once you put it out, andito na kagad yung pinaka- unit itself Ayan. for glory still series okay just like what our rule before sa pag uh, feature ng product kaya wala na siyang plastic pero originally may, pra may plastic siya ang rule ko sa sarili ko is that kailangan ma-experience ko muna yung product before ko i-feature or i-review okay para yung mga technical hindi ko man ma-explain Pero based on my experience, pwede kong sabihin sa inyo yung highs and lows ng keyboard, okay? So, ang pinakong, uh, I think, ang pinaka-feature nito is the Omnipoint. Yung Omnipoint, mamaya pag-uusapan natin yan. Pero on a physical standpoint, ang pinaka nagsa-stand out dito is, oh, sandit. Ang, ang pinaka nagsa-stand out yung likod. So, as you can see, pwede mo nang padaanin yung uh, iyong uh, wires dito. Para hindi na maging sagabay Pagka sinet up mo na siya It also features uh, Two Globe Gold Play na ito Hindi Dalawang uh, USB point Kaya dalawa is that Meron ng remote na USB port On the keyboard itself Just like any keyboard Na mechanical na nauuso na ngayon Okay So now let's jump straight into its uh, main uh, feature Which is yung Omni Point you know the DPI, yung DPI mas kilala siya sa mga mouse, okay? So yung DPI na yon, it measures kung gaano kabilis or gaano kabagal yung flick mo 
with um, using the mouse, di ba? With regards to OmniPoint, it's somehow related that one. This is based on my experience. Ha? Meron siyang website meaning yung OmniPoint, pero mas gusto kong may explain ko sa inyo in a way na may iintindihan nyo. Okay? So, OmniPoint is, for me, yung given pressure na pwede mong ibitaw sa key para mag-hit uh, na kagad siya or mag-effect na kagad siya. So, ako, I prefer to have it on a... Uh, Harder press na Omnipoint So meaning uh, Hindi porkit nadaanan ng Ito ko Ito Hindi porkit nadaanan ito yung W Automatic click na kagad yung W Kailangan ko i-hard press yung W Para mag-take effect yung W Bakit mas prefer ko yun? Kasi sa Dota may mga spells na Ano siya? Hindi siya click Parang hindi siya natututok Okay? Kunyari ravage Pag nadaanan mo yung letter V Automatic magra-ravage Misclick Diba? Unlike pagka hard yung omni point pressure na required sa yo, kahit na madaanan mo ng konte, hindi kahit na maklik mo yung V na bahagya, hindi kagad siya magra-ravage. Okay? So ayun yung mga crucial lalo na sa person like me. Kaya ako mas gusto ko yung hard na uh, omni point. Others naman prefer the softer omni point kasi they want to have that fast uh, reaction once na madaanan ng fingers nila yung keys automatic na take effect kagad yung uh, key na prenes nila so for me that's the basic uh, hindi naman basic that's the perspective ko with regards to Omnipoint pero yet again you can refer to the page or to the website ng Steel Series if you want to know the exact meaning or exact function ng Omnipoint okay so after the Omnipoint katulad ng sinabi ko sa inyo Ang tawag dito yung Steel Series pala is the pass-through. So, yung pass-through na yan, para nga hindi na maging conflict, minsan kasi nasa gitna yung wire set, di ba? Ito, magko-complement yung wire mo by this pass-through. Aside from that, this keyboard also comes with a wrist rest. Yung wrist rest is for you to be able to put your wrist on that uh, specific item para first, mas malapit yung kamay mo on the keyboard itself and others hindi siya mabibend totally yung kamay mo which can result na sa pangangalay ayun yung comes along with this keyboard outside of that one this keyboard uses a red switch so for what a red, blue or whatever switches it is ito yung mini Technically, yun yung mga crucial na adjustment na ginawa ni Steel Series. Aside from that, nandiyan yung mga RGB, syempre, hindi nawawala. And uh, katulad nung sa may rival na mouse, isa pa sa feature niya is that you can customize yung name dito sa may uh, numpad area ng keyboard. Sa mouse, ginawa na nila yan sa rival 60 yata na nasa may left side yung uh, pwede mong i-customize na area. Dito naman, sa may right side, sa may taas ng numpad. Okay? So, kung trip mo yung health bar, pag nagsisiesgo ka, kung trip mo yung pangalan mo, para mas astig ka, or kung gusto mo lang ng simpleng steel series, dyan nalalagay yan. Okay? So, technically, that's it. Yung uh, mga changes natin, pero if you want to know more about the product, you can always visit their page. Ito. And uh, see what the apex is. Uh, pro is all about this has been a uh, kuya nick and uh again ang target natin is going to be 200 likes within 24 hours kaya pang gawin hindi ko alam pero this is for our uh, review this week yung apex pro next product we will be announcing it soon and uh, hopefully you keep subscribing keep watching and keep sharing our uh, videos dito sa team showroom and sa kuya nick Kita kita tayo sa susunod na video.